In this Prompt Me video, we're going to focus on timer activities. When you first launch Prompt Me, you're presented with the default timer activity that has one interval and one repetition, a one minute countdown. We could add more reps, or we could change the time interval. But there is still only one interval. All reps will be one minute, or whatever I've set that timer at. Let's change that. Go to Activity Setup, and I could add a brand new category here, but let's assume that I'm going to do stretching exercises every day and I want that to be my default. I can edit the category and change the name to stretching and I only want a one second pause between intervals and repetitions. Now I'll open the category and edit this first interval. Let's change the name to lumbar rotation and change the time to 30 seconds but leave the reps at 1. Let's add another interval. Hip stretch. Again for 30 seconds, but this time 4 reps. Two different exercises on each leg. I can continue to add more exercises, each with its own time and reps. I can rearrange these at any time. For example, let's move this hip stretch into position 3. Now, when I go back to my timer activity, I see all of my intervals and reps as I have them planned. If I'm feeling strong, I can increase the time and the number of reps. All I have to do now is go back to the beginning and start the timer. In this case, I'm being told what the interval is, and between each rep, I'll be notified with that vibration and a beat during the one second pause. This is because I've enabled all of these options in my settings. You can use timers for many different types of activities. Here I'm showing that I have added two more. When I go back to selecting a timer activity, they all show in the list.